What is it? It's cough syrup. It's not really for kids, but a cap full is pretty harmless. Hmm. Oh, so this is what Lil Wayne keeps almost dying from. Oh! Today we are here to check out a Family Guy Try Not to Laugh challenge that you guys have sent to me in the DMs of the Discord. Let's do this. Then I say let's celebrate the way they did in the Bible. With wine. Red wine. You know, like Jesus drank. But with sex? Do you like the wine? Very much. What is it? Take a guess. I have to leave. Nah, sit down. Oh! Where the devil is everyone? This place is more deserted than James Gandolfini's workout room. Oh. <laughs> Sweet, and I promise you'll be able to understand all the words. Not like Sting, where you can only understand the last three. Ah! Yeah, ah. lurking in the water with our eyes poking out. Yeah! Sneaking up on a crane or an egret and snapping our jaws on it. Yeah! And sometimes walking out onto a dry plain or dusty field because it's nice to get out of the swamp now and then. Yeah! yeah. Uh, wait, huh? what? 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 Huh? Dry plain? Dusty field? Nice to get out of the swamp? What a crock. And that's where we get the term. That's actually pretty that's That pretty would be punny. as foolish as FDR hiring that midget press secretary. I thought you about to say midget the president porn star. has just confirmed a devastating surprise attack by the Japanese at Pearl Harbor. Much of our naval fleet has been destroyed, and the death toll is believed to be in the thousands. He's adorable! Believe it, Angela, I hate being just a cog around here. Almost as much as I hate homeless people asking me for money. Spare oh. some change? Sure. You didn't put anything in there. Yes, I did. I put hope in there. No. Nah. Hope. Nigga said hope. Don't spend it all in one place, Raggy. Oh. Ugh, he's a worse dad than a rich New York City investment banker. Hi, Daddy. At school today, they picked one kid to- Millie, it's in here again. Me sorry, Mr. Sir. Get out the room, dim dear, your butter, your father. Him unhappy, him had you in the first place. Now, come on, I'll let you rub some lotion on me elbows. Oh, hell no. No way, I don't want pregnant mess in my back seat. Oh, come on, you're the guy who soiled his pants while test driving that sports car. I don't want it. Well, I got no money left to pay off my civil suit debt, so I'm making a god's eye to send to Fred Goldman. It's kind of nice, right? Better than nothing. He's got money to buy tongue depressors and yarn, but not enough to pay us back? You know how much mustache cream that could have bought? I don't like the mustache, Fred. Nobody likes the mustache. That's why we lost the trial. That's not true. That's a damn shame. We're still a family, right? No. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're tighter than an Asian family. You doctor yet? No, Dad. I'm 12. Talk to me when you doctor. Publicity is what keeps this franchise running, Brian. We're even using state-of-the-art computer animation to create a fake sex tape with me and Bill Cosby. Now you will get ready for the Zim Zam and the Babbity Bibbity, and you will take off your clothes like voo and boom <laughs> and get ready for the most splendiferous pudding pop you have ever seen. I'm gonna enter him in a Quahog Derby and he's gonna win. I just know it. I got a sixth sense about these things. Remember when I predicted the ending, The Wild Hogs? This movie's gonna suck. Oh. No, ah. what's sick is the plot of the movie Baby Mama. What happens when a 40-year-old woman asks her 41-year-old friend to carry her baby? Push, Angie, push, push hard. Oh, it's dead. We now return to that black guy must be doing well because everything he owns is white. Hey, how you doing? Wow, he must be doing well. I am hotter than phone sex with a blind girl. You sound hot. What are you wearing? I don't know. Nope. Local churchgoer and junior Christian soldier Meg Griffin has identified the atheist as Brian Griffin of Spooner Street. Here's the reaction from City Hall. Uh, shocking, to say the least. I'd rather have a terrorist living in our midst. At least they believe in a god. Even if it's a smelly brown god. Ugh, oh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous when I'm driving. Oh! Okay, now me. Oh, that's a stop sign! Ah! Lewis, get in here! It's dark and I'm frightened! Oh. 
Ooh. I think they've got this thing backwards. Hey, wake up! I had a bad dream, so now your night has to be terrible. Hey, you, go easy on the communion wine today. Don't want another one of your drunken mishaps. Let me get in that belly. <laughs> Let me get in that belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! I'm sorry. I got a little nervous. It's just I like you so much. We now return to Ellen only talks when her guest is talking. So you want to hear about my movie? Uh, I had a great, we spent great weekend three this months weekend. I, I danced all over and, you know, uh, my house. Thriller, I, I, I tried to dance really like once a week. I, I also listen to jazz while I vacuum, which is cool. Jazz anyway, it comes out Friday, and I got to work wild. with Julian and Margo. I think there's like something in the air, like smog or pollen or pollen and smog. Are you just going to talk over everything I love talking on TV. I'll do anything to talk 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 on TV. I, I can't, I can't believe you. I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real well, butter. Your husband murdered butter. three children. Oh. I know something that'll help you sleep. Wait here. Okay, I'll give you a tiny bit of this. It should help you sleep. What is it? It's cough syrup. It's not really for kids, but a capful is pretty harmless. Hmm. Oh, so this is what Lil Wayne keeps almost dying from. Oh! What are you doing? Huh? Oh, Brian. Oh, there you are. I've been, I've been looking all over the table for you. You know, I'm going to tell you, this stuff you gave me was a lifesaver last night. I was out like a light. And, you know, normally I'm up five or six times to scream and defecate. But you know what? I slept straight through. Stewie, I told you there's alcohol in that. It's not for kids. You're not for kids. <laughs> Stewie, you're drunk. Okay, okay, it's all right. Calm down, calm down. Uh, uh, uh. I think I've put my shoes on the wrong feet. Is it 9.15 already? Lois, we gotta go. Our top story. An austere monetary policy has the European Union on the brink of collapse, threatening the entire global economy. And for viewers making less than $40,000 a year, your top story is a big UFC fight this Saturday. Joe, why are you dressed like that? Because I'm a mixologist. Oh, cool. What can you make? You name it, I can make it. Could I get an old-fashioned? Classic. Rum and Coke coming right up. And could I get a Moscow Mule? Rum and Coke for my comrade. I'll have a whiskey Rum Coke sour. coming right up. Could I get a Rum and Coke? A Pepsi okay? But I guess I learned my lesson about the evils of Wall Street. What are you talking about? This isn't about Wall Street. This is about you. Me? I've been investing in the market forever and doing just fine. You did it for one week and were literally eating your own kind. This isn't about Wall Street. I cannot stress that enough. Well, money is the root of all evil. No, it's not. It's just you. If we praise Jesus by singing all to... Money is not the root of all evil. The lack of money is the root of all evil. Nobody robs a bank when their bills are paid. Together, it makes this whole exercise seem less bizarre than it really is when you actually stand back and examine it with some objectivity. Please be seated. And so did the Corinthians finally write back to St. Paul saying, Dude, enough with the letters. We have received them all and we'll get back to you when we have the time. We'll get back to and you by the way, the a lot of the information you're asking for is available online. It's all available online, baby. Hey, nice talk, Chief. Mm. Hey, go buy the wife something pretty. Oh, Father, your homily was so moving today. Okay, Lois, bye. Bye, church. Bye, church guy. Bye, unending conversation. Bye, terrible church people. Bye. Hey, are you a big fat bastard who loves eating at Outback Steakhouse but thinks the portions are too small? Well, good news, fat ass, because now there's the Outback Steakhouse Extreme. We don't have a bloomin' onion, we have a bloomin' pumpkin. You know what else we got? Elephant steaks, 50 pound elephant steaks. No. And why don't you wash it down with 40 ounces of malt liquor and ranch dressing, you fat <laughs> Outback Steakhouse Extreme. Punish your toilet. Ah! Peter, be careful up there. Is this being careful enough, Joe? All right. Yeah. Peter, are you okay? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. Oh, my God, Peter, that's the lost Nicholson kid. He's been missing for a week. Oh, yeah. 
They arrested a custodian because of you. Why are you now, holding some of you out there are calling me a hero. Others are calling me a hoagie. Those of you from Connecticut are calling me a grinder. What's a hoagie? I guess what I'm trying to say is What's a I'm grinder? not just pieces of meat between pieces of bread. I am a man who unintentionally saves kids. Wow. 20 years on the force and no one's ever clapped for me. Except for that one sarcastic gay guy. Great observation. Fact is, when I saved that boy, I wasn't thinking. I don't think. I just do. I wanted to see if a billboard had real pudding in it. So I climbed up there and came out a hero. It's just like Gandhi always said. Eat as much as you want and do whatever. And don't be afraid to hit each other. Motherfucker, what? My God, it's a miracle. You were able to put me back together again. Yeah, it was actually a pretty simple procedure. Maybe next time go straight to a medical professional and skip the horses and illiterate servants. Well, that is the last time I drink and masturbate on top of a high wall. I thought I was dead. Oh, boy. I even pictured my own funeral. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve I don't know, Chris. I don't know why he wanted this, but we're honoring your father's wishes. Oh. Oh. Well, so then Jack takes these two pails of water and trips and totally falls down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a funny story. Jill had a tooth fall out and she swallowed it and then we had to root through her feces to find it. And we did. And then we took it to the dentist and he put it back in her mouth. So I guess we're both klutzes, huh? Why don't you spin another tail, crap tooth? No? My turn again? <gasps> okay. Jill's <laughs> a white waiter at a Chinese restaurant? We'll get you the facts on this bizarre story. But first, this week's viral video, Fat Kid Hustles Through Crosswalk. Here it is. Here's little Chubbo pulling up the rear. Oh, he's got to get moving now. That's right. Don't let your chocolate levels get too low. <laughs> ah! ah! Don't let the chocolate levels get too low! Ah! Okay. Now see, she didn't say good morning to me. So I put an orange dot on her boarding pass, which means they're going to search her anus. I noticed you also circled a bunch of things on her ticket. Why did you do that? Because otherwise, the line moves too quickly. You see, the whole thing we're going for here at the TSA is a sort of bored fascism. Huh, I think I can handle that. I did not tell you to approach. Great job. The worst thing a passenger can do is approach your podium before you tell them to. As bad as those 19 hijackers were, the people we see here every day are much worse. Wow. You know, when you see it up close, it really is incredible. Yeah. You know, Lois always dreamed about coming here, and now I know why. She was even saving money for it. You made it, Lois. You made it. And what about Bonnie? How you getting her back? Well, I got a plan for that. I hired some guys to come to the house on Tuesday and assault her. And I'll come in and save her. And she'll be so grateful, she'll have to take me back. Oh, boy. Joe, today's Tuesday. Well, poop. Which is why I'm going to drink this frying pan antidote. <laughs> All right, hit me with this. <laughs> Didn't work. What are you doing here? Loretta's mom was hankering for a snack, so we had to pick her up some kibbles and bits. <laughs> Cleveland! I mean, Cheez-Its. Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Go on, cry home to your mama. She waiting for you. Now, don't make me put my size 13s up your narrow ass! I don't sweat you. Bring it on, bitch. Now, how are you gonna act? Jeez. That's really what worked, too. trash in here. Don't bring that trash in house. here. Excuse me, is your refrigerator running? Because if it is, it probably runs like you. Very homosexually. What? How, you wanna dance? <laughs> Get suck, Yankee suck, Nick suck. <laughs> What's new, Ed? Well, Stewie, tonight we have a really big show. Okay, okay, and now a word from our sponsors. It takes a very steady hand. Don't touch the sides. <laughs> Butterfingers. <laughs> Better hurry up, Mr. Tucker. I'm coming. Hey, remember that time I had that Mustang? Oh, yeah, you, you took it for the spin that time. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Uh, then, then those chowder heads on the corner, they busted your stones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your sister say anything about me? Umkin to kuni mirati. Excuse me? I said, may I have a blanket? Oh, yes, of course. Ha! 
I really said, will you be my wife? And you said yes, so now it is official. Let me touch your face. You're telling me I flew all the way to Kentucky to get some of your fried chicken and, and the colonel isn't even working today? He, we, he did. What? I say he did. Is Mr. Sanders in? What's wrong with you? I say you, he did. Well, the hijacking of Flight 52 is over. The plane has safely landed in Cuba, and all Americans aboard are on their way home with the exception of one couple, a fat man who is inexplicably married to an attractive redhead. Here's an artist's rendering of what they might look like. Oh. Oh, shit. Hey, turn up. <laughs> Jackie Chan can't 302. Oh, my God. Oh. Thank you very much. Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. Oh, this is crazy. You walk in here with your chiseled jaw and you... Oh, my. I liked you the way you were. You're not even real anymore. You... Peter, did you get a new buttocks? I had to. My old one had a crack in it. <laughs> My nigga said the last one had a crack in it. What I'm are you dead. looking at, you, you infantile stupid? That's right. Damn you and such. You can... You burn in hell. <laughs> You bastards come into our village and kill our fish, pollute our water. I'm gonna send you back to hell where you belong. Tired of not being able to find clothes that fit? I know I was. That's why I started Stewie's Big and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey, Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. Oh! Oh. Oh. Peter, how the hell is he going to recognize us? He doesn't even know who we are. Oh. Ha. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh! Listen, Peter, if you keep this up, something terrible's going to happen. Yeah, something terrible all the way to the bank. Nice. <laughs> Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. Oh, this is my favorite event. Catch the greased up deaf guy. Go! You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. Forget about it. Go do something else. Oh. See you next year. Is it Astro Glide? you hear what happened to that dude from UMass? He got so drunk he fell off his hotel balcony. He's in a coma. Oh man, I want to party with him. You yeah. know it! Yeah! 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 A jackal! Jackal! It's a jackal! It looks like a jackal! 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 It's a jackal! Jackal! Time! It wasn't right the first time you said it. Why the hell would it be right the next ten times? Gah! I wonder where that fish did go. A fish, a fish, a fishy, oh. What the boom, hell? Boom, boom, did you do your exercises today? Yes, I did 20 laps, and I'm about to do 20 more. Oh, you. Yikes! Hungry eyes. I feel the magic between you and I. Ooh, I'm hungry for you, baby. <laughs> Come on, walk with me, talk with me. Lois, you can't spell love without L O. You can't spell is without I S. You can't spell silo without Lois. Mm. What the hell type of shit? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
You'll get Time used to, to it. Time to hand back last week's spelling test. And it looks like it. Oinky set the curve again. Oh, dang. That is some smart pick. Good thing I copied off of Oinky. Ulysses S. Grant, you invite me to lunch, then show up an hour late drunk? I was busy looking for your wife to give her the old... <laughs> what am I ah! today? Warm yesterday. Even warmer today. He's violating sea breeze. No, oh, no, he's just awkwardly positioning himself. Now he's violating sea breeze. I am gonna go back in time and stop Brian from getting it on with your dog. Everybody stand back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh, watch out. We got some bad roaches here. Hey, you're on our turf, man. Hey, man, I, I cut you. I cut you up so bad. You, you're going you to gonna wish I know cut you up so bad. Damn, nigga. Oh, shit. Nigga. Chicken and titties? Don't mind if I do. Pina! Oh, sorry. Where am I gonna go next? What interesting adventure? You don't know. I'll have my award now. Dee, I lied. I was a princess the whole time. You bitch, I'm gonna punch you in the face. You bitch, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Horrible pickup line. Terrible pickup line. So, you want to get something to eat? Can we go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food? Oh, let's go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food! Well, you're doing a lot better now, Cleveland. I mean, you went from a black woman to a white woman without having to take that Hispanic woman step in between. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Cleveland. No. Uh, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure it's raining bitches. Rupert, suddenly I want to run! Chase me! <laughs> oh, now I'm sick. We now return to VH1's Behind the Music. Me had big problem before me found God. He like threw me down and he said, I hope your puppeteer has big hands because I'm not using lube. Me no remember that, but me believe it happened. Glenn Quagmire. Do not open that box. You know, Lois, physicists believe there are two alternate universes. One in which I don't open the box, and one in which I do. I'm not gonna open the box. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet, it's a whip! Wow, I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. And the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? For the I, mountain! I told you not to play God with those ants! Oh. Stay still! Ah! Oh my okay, God! That's pretty cool, too. Ah, I thought you couldn't understand me! Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. Hey, what you watching? The outlaw Josie Wales. It's a western. Ah, when do the cowboys go into the tent, lick their palms, and have sex with each other? Different kind of western. Ew, what's Clint Eastwood doing with that Indian chief? Oh, they're, they're just becoming blood brothers. An ancient ritual where two friends intermingle their blood, thus sealing a bond even deeper than friendship. So let's do that. Brian, I want you inside me. Y y you don't Mother have to say it like that. what? Hey, listen, this is uh, a little awkward, but uh, you guys are sitting in our booth. This is our booth now, and we ain't leaving. So what are you going to do about it, bitch? You fellas are in big trouble. If, uh, if you could just move back like eight feet. Is that my whip? Hey! Is that my taser? Will you stop going through my mail? You son of a bitch! You gave me herpes! And now I have some very uncomfortable phone calls to make! Handy Manny's repair shop. You break it, we fix it! Manny, Manny, I'm gonna need you to take me off speakerphone for this. You know, oh. I mean, isn't the worst thing about herpes just the stigma? I mean, like, like what if it wasn't called herpes? Like, like what if it was called Bapo? Oh, I got a little Bapo. Oh, that's cute. Ah, I want Bapo. What a morning. <laughs> By the time I got done with my pubes, I just didn't feel like shaving anymore. <laughs> hey, Chris, your mom's done with the laundry. Can you help her fold? No, but you know what? You put on her bra.
Everybody heard about what happened over at the clam and how those guys made you their bitch. There's gonna be some big changes around here. Man, you know how we really never to lie to each other? Well, I lied earlier tonight. It's not a burn from Dunkin' Donuts coffee. You should get yourself tested. How long have you been there? Long enough to know you have herpes and do weird stuff with your teddy bear. We're blood brothers, too. You seem like a great guy. Yes, thank you. We'll take the table in the corner next to the herpes dog. Hey, Brian. And who's your date? Wow, you must be such a good person to knowingly go out with a herpes-riddled dirt bag. Damn it, you guys. Her dad's really rich. Wow, you weren't kidding. Yeah. And there's only two of you losers. Where's your skinny friend? Right here. <laughs> That was my pool cue! I brought it from home! I, f I feel bad now. Ah! Hey! That was my Pawtucket Patriot sign! I brought it from home! Okay, now I'm starting to doubt everything you said. We will never stop fighting for this booth! Hell, I witnessed every significant historical event in my lifetime right here! I was in this booth on 9-11! Oh my god, no! I was in this booth when President Obama was elected. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Why are we even bothering with these idiots? We're shipping out to Afghanistan tomorrow. What the fuck? Oh, damn it! What the hell do you guys want from me? I want to drive your Prius to the end of the block all by myself. That's it? Yes. That's, uh, that's way past the end of the block. Yeah, his room's empty. I don't think he's coming back. Huh. I don't understand why I have to babysit Stewie. I mean, what's he really gonna do if we leave him by himself? And now to test my teleportation pods. <gasps> oh, Jim! Ah, I'm a monster! So, um, this is, uh, awkward, but, uh, have, have we ever actually, you know, met? I mean, you know, I, I don't even know, say, for example, if you have a room up there. You know, a room? I have a room. You know, Meg, if you kill yourself now, you'll probably get a full page in the yearbook. Hey, Mort, uh, Lois and I are out on a date night. Uh, why don't you give me some condoms and some Excedrin? My wife's got a headache this big. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like from the commercial. This big. All right, then, $12.43. Ah, oh, jeez, that's more of a ripoff than that breakfast machine I bought. <laughs> ah! Oh, what was the point of all that? Oh. Ah! All it does is shoot you! Well, that's okay. I'll just open up a tab. Wait a minute, what the hell's a tab? Does that mean I don't gotta pay? Well, not right now, but... Ah, uh... oh, sweet! Hey, while I'm at it, give me all these copies of Marie Claire. Meg! Meg, I'm hungry! There's a granola bar in the cupboard. I want it! Hey, what's this? What's going on? It's Saturday night. I could be out having a life. Meg, if you don't want to babysit anymore, that's fine. But don't you stand there and lie to me. <laughs> oh, oh. Man, she torched your ass, man. She torched your ass. Why can't you just hire a real babysitter? Now, whoever goes the longest without puking gets the last piece of pie in the fridge. How's everybody doing? Good. Good so far. All right. All right. Nothing yet. Cool. Cool. From the uh, bake sale that Lois was... <laughs> Oh, one down. I know somebody who won't be having any... I guess I'm gonna... I hate throwing up. I get the... Get the phone. Call 911. I've only thrown up once in my life. <laughs> one down. Who wants chowder? Sorry I'm late. Can I still apply for the job? God, I haven't been this exhilarated since Brian took me to see Les Miserables. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a slight change in the cast tonight. Oh, no. For this evening's performance, the role of Jean Valjean will be played by Kirk Cameron. Oh, oh, unbelievable. You owe me $34,000. What? What if I sold you my daughter? What? All you gotta do is sign this contract. You can't sell me, you fat son of a bitch. Whoa, careful getting this fish off the hook, Mort. She's got some fangs. <laughs> I can't believe he's over me. I can't believe I'm out 34 grand. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> Stick around, more Family Guy coming up. Tonight the babysitter comes, Rupert. Lovely Ladon. I think hey, everybody hey, loves their babysitter. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, well, well this here? Oh, it's just my package. So that you're the no guy word. who's been trying to steal my girlfriend. What? You girlfriend? According to the contract, every night you have to put on my pajamas. <laughs> Neil, would you stop kicking? Hold still! Hold still! Hold still! Oh, my God! Oh, 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 my God. God. Oh, All right, that's it. Jeremy must be destroyed. Is anyone there? Yeah! Ah, 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 I 
see. Oh. I think this is how you change a tire, but what do I know? I'm just a pig! Boy, this was a better acquisition than I thought. We may even be able to put in some sorghum this year. Jeremy stopped calling me. He what? That blackguard? Oh, come here. L let me just let me just hold you for a while. No, 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 no. <laughs> no more TV. Well, how about no more job? Hmm? Lois! Oh, thank God you're here, Lois. It was all her friends. They, they, they were doing marijuana and heroin. I'm gonna miss you, little guy. This is for you. She... she made me a mixtape? Oh, dear God, what have I done? I've made a terrible mistake. Can't believe I'm doing this. It's so disgusting. But it's for my little girl. Dad, how do you know Neil will show up? Don't worry, Meg. I sent him an invitation he couldn't refuse. These conventions usually have Segway parking. Am I too late for the Q&A? Yeah, but you're just in time for the T&A. Mrs. Griffin, this is wrong. Well, 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 look at this, Meg. Your boyfriend is violating both your contract and my wife. Uh, Meg, I wasn't doing anything. Uh, Mrs. Griffin was just, how oh, you're bending it. I can't believe I'm actually jealous. I can't believe I actually touched him. I still can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> Next week, I run for mayor of Quahog. Do I I have what it takes? We'll find out. Don't miss it. Here we are again. Another Saturday night with basic cable. Yep. Oh, I suppose neither of us is really cut out for love and wish. Oh my god, Jeremy's still in the trunk. Oh god, how long's it been? Uh let's let's see. Two two weeks. Yep. Yeah, he's dead. Definitely dead. Why are they selling all those DVDs so cheap? Because, Chris, DVDs are outdated and obsolete. Like white track stars. Oh. On your marks, get set. White guys, go! I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. Bruh, is it bad this that I still it. think this like that? This not familiar. You're right, Brian. Apparently, this is a universe where everyone has to take a poop right just now. <clears throat> okay, oh. Bill, you got those numbers? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just leave them on my desk. Okay, that works out fine for me. Where's your desk? Doug knows where my desk is. Craig, are you good with this? Yeah, that should work out pretty good for me, too. Oh my god, you've missed so much! Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! It'll be fine. We shouldn't let this ruin our night. Let's just enjoy the strippers. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Oh, shit. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! God, she's more stubborn than you are. Daddy, I want to turn on the swing set. No. But you've gone for two turns. Get lost. It looks like fun and I want to do it. No, I'm doing it. I'm gonna do a big jump off. Oh! Ah, get mom! 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 Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's your boy Blast, Miss HD, Twizam.